Welcome back to episode number two. I'm River, and you guys are my favorite type of people, the ones that come back for episode two. Must have mean, I hope it means you liked the episode one. If you didn't watch episode one, what you missed is us coming down from the freight depot over there and connecting to our sawmill. We haven't even gotten in a train yet, so it's just been, it was a, close to an hour of, of just building this rail over to this point. Now, this is a bit of a mess, and it's going to stay a bit of a mess for right now, because what I would like to do is talk about getting over from the lumber mill to here. Now, the biggest thing that we're going to need to do as time goes forward is to connect into this. So we're going to need another one of these switches off of this one. And I noticed when I was sitting here before the episode that we kind of run out of level ground pretty shortly. But let's just see if we can get away with it as it is. Right, so I'm going to connect to this. And I don't like to put these things when they're... When they're butted up against each other, meaning back to back, like the, the bottom part of the Y to the bottom part of the Y, I like to put a little separator, because if you look, I'll put this switch on this other side. Okay, we can connect that automatically for our purposes now. Like now we can tell which one is which. If they're right on top of each other, you can't really see that, especially you know, when you're bowering down the track from a distance. This gives you a little bit of perspective. I also wanted to see, yeah, see that's getting very close to in the ground, which is telling me that this should be a little bit higher over here. Right? But before we get into all of that and make that decision, one of the reasons I did this is because it gives us an idea. Like, see, this is already, you can't really see. This is right where right where that straight out from that platform there so we would want that to be able to curve over this way and in and, and if it's right here already there's no way we're, we're going to have to make a big loop around and then into there so you know like I'd like to take this track relative to that position up there sorry about the trees I just don't have the money to cut them all down yet but I would like to get you know, that straight out here, straight out this way. And if you look, that's right in the neighborhood of where this is. Which means I don't have a problem. I did some scouting ahead, plus I've already played the map a bit. And what I'm thinking of is, is we bring this road, like, further out this way. Right? And then we'll have a bit of a hill right here. See this valley? There's a, there's a hill right here. I'm thinking we can come, if, if you notice, it's a little bit downhill. So this is kind of like a low spot that I think we can we can hit. You know, it, like, not that it matters that much, but hey, the less you go up and down hills with the train, the better off you are. Let's get our groundwork out. We'll do this variable pitch. And let's just bring this straight out here. I want to stay kind of close to this hill because I think, yeah, the logging camp, I think it's going to be, because I did run up there, I think we want to come in like at this angle. Even though it kind of looks like we're going too far to the west, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Let's just see. Yeah, let's bring that down. Yeah, that's too much. Let's, let's do a 3% grade. So we'll do flat from this point and see. We'll see how close we get to logging camp. But we're fairly out of the ground. But enough we can still see it. Level doesn't matter too much. Now there are some obstacles as far as hills go. And we'll want to be a little bit sophisticated how we come out of the logging camp, but this should at least get us a road that's reasonably straight towards where we're going. And give us an idea of, you know, 
if we went back in at this angle we can always redo it there we go so we're hitting the hill here so we're getting once we hit the hill we're getting a little bit close to the logging camp not sure exactly where it is so there's a bit of a hill here we could come up that hill oh there it is over there yep there it is yes yeah, so that's really coming in right right in the side of it right like it's it's we were like over here so yeah i mean there is you know there's no reason we we're gonna have to come out of here so if you let's do a little tour for those of you who don't have the game or haven't played it so there's our logging camp itself where we get the logs i mean and then over here is cordwood so this is the stuff we would need to bring over to the smelter eventually so we're going to want to be able to come in and loop around for both of these and then head back out. I find looping a little easier, especially in this game where you can't switch the... You, can't, you have to manually get out and do the switches. So loops are nice because you only have to do it once once you're, you're in the routine. So what I'm thinking of here is... Yeah, we really kind of want to be coming either in or out. Let's... Let's do like let's just do like level from here, right? And then we would turn Yeah, that's Hmm. Alright, we'll just keep going with it till we find that other road. Right, is this oh, look at that right to the top of the hill <laughs> yeah so there's the other road right ahead right there so there's a lot of that I just did for marking purposes otherwise you can't tell and I'm not sure how well you guys can tell so see that's a pretty massive yeah, I think we could come in like here, right? Kind of like not make it so ridiculously, you know, it's OP the way you can just put down that stuff. So if we came here and, you know, this is about the crest of the hill. Oh, really, that's... Yeah, well, I guess it would make sense that we would go uphill, right? Now the problem is too. Yeah, let's see, what does that look like? I can't see because I'm in my own way. Yeah, let's. All right, part of the problem is swinging in. Well, this one's not actually. Maybe this isn't as much of a problem as I'm trying to make it. Let's come over here. And... I don't want this. Yeah, no, that's actually good. Let's go back. Right, say there. Then this is level. So I do want to make this level further out this way a little bit so that if we have to put a switch or whatever, where are we? There it is. So like say right here. Oh, do we? All right, so we can get rid of this one. And then we can come back to here and we can match this guy up. Right, and do shift Q. Eh, reasonable enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. 
All right, so then we can come down this hill here to about this point. That's actually, you know, let me delete that. I want to be a little bit above the ground just so it looks a little nicer. Like we actually put in a road bed, rail bed. Real road bed. So I guess it's the same road bed I don't think is. Man, that was like. Here, I think, right? We're back to being level. How's that work out for us? Eh, should have been level. Where's our road? Yeah, right over here. So we want to get, yeah, I, I think right up to that spot. So that means we want to come down a little bit less. Maybe not even at all. Okay, let's see what even looks like when it comes to Yep, this hill here. We'll do a little bit of a curve. We could probably have come down a little bit. So even. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. And then we'll start coming down just slightly or up, whichever way you want to look at that. What happens if we do two degrees? Oops. Oops, I didn't mean to do this. Let's go up. Yeah, two degrees. Two, one point, there you go, right? I would probably cheat it over this way a little bit more. And let's go down. What does that look like? Now it's a five slope, which is a pretty good slope, <laughs> you know. Let's just go ahead and put that there, and then there you go. That's where it hit the ground. Oops, right on a tree. All right, so it wouldn't quite hit the ground. Now, we we're also, like, we turned a lot. So I'd like to straighten this out from back there, right? So, like, let's get an idea of where we're at. Like, I'd like to come right from this spot here. Maybe we just do that from up here. Right, like just go, sh yeah, curve it around a little bit, but just go straighter. And then what do we say, 2%? Right, so we'll come to like this point, and then, and then we were at 5%. Not too bad. All right, let's go get rid of some of this stuff. Just so it doesn't cause graphical slowness in the future.
A lot of gravel there, but I'm not sure you can avoid it. We could put a downward bridge, but I'm not sure that that's any more realistic. I think this, you know, it's. I think it's a little bit of a balance of what's realistic versus what's, it is a game at the end of the day. Yeah, so that's nice and level. All right, what that means is that we could come in here and put in a, switch uh, like this maybe right there is that all right Jay, I'm willing to pay for you to be gone all right switch to the right with the thing on the right is that I want to go back further. These things take up an amazing <laughs> length. They, see, we want to go back further, and we're already running out of, like, the level, you know? Let's just demolish this. And we'll demolish this, I guess. And we'll take this flatter, straighter, longer. Oh, am I stuck in the ground? Yep, stuck in the ground. All right, let's try that again. I think if you keep moving, <laughs> you know, it's like quicksand. You can run across the quicksand if you go real fast, you know. See, like I didn't get stuck there. All right, so now we wanted to be a little bit further away to be able to swoop in there a little bit better. Which probably like here, say. All right, does that yeah, we should definitely be able to turn in. Now we don't I don't know what this is here, as far as I know, nothing. Yeah, you know, like we load on the other side. So this one we can cut over, I think, and get in there. And this one's a little bit you know, like we'll cut the corner here and get over there. So this we won't use this part right here. Yeah, so let's see. Guess we might as well finish a lot of the work up in this area. Let's do. Something like that. I don't know if it hurts the graphics to do that where it's down. Yeah, let's go see, just for the sake of, we're not going to work on this too much, but making sure it truly will work out. Let me try to keep that pretty straight. All right, yeah, so if this this were curving around, we're going to want, oh, we don't need a switch here, do we? No, if we just curve that right around into here. And that'll just go right into this part of this switch. And then this. Can go right, say, to here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Let's just see. We can fill in some of those gaps in the future. Let's cut down another tree. Reasonably certain this is where we're going. Let's start laying some track and see if it will work out as well as we suspect it. Since we don't have to pay for these logs, we're not wasting. And the other places you do waste, if you miss the cart, you're, you know, you, you do end up losing a log. Like, eh, close enough. I figure if it ends up landing in the rails, it's probably close enough. 
I've done that test before and it works out fine. So now how does this look as far as is it too too sharp anywhere? Eh, see I didn't I don't like the way I did that. See how it's sort of let's just get rid of another tree. Part of it is the trees. You can't you just you can't really see where you're going. Yeah, see that's that's too close. That's what it is. This is just too, too close. A little bit. Yeah, so let's get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this one as well. I want to make this straighter, longer again. These just things just always get me. Yeah, that, that should definitely be plenty. So what do we say? 2%. Three percent. All right, so we're going to put another one in like this. Get rid of this one this that one there for now it's not what I wanted all right so now let's go back over to here let's That, that I can tell already that's going to be much better. We'll be flying in here. section make it look a little bit smoother oops that's not what I want. all right not gonna be perfectly straight but I think kind of good enough yeah that's much much better you can't tell the difference I can all right, so this one, because we're not going to be going that way, we might as well flip this switch over there, right? And then, uh, yeah, so let's check out what else do we need to do. So we have this is at that height. This slopes down. So what we want to do is have somewhere that we can feed back in from back over there. All right, so we're going to be coming around here. And then we're gonna, um, you know, load our logs up one way or the other, whether we come in or out. And actually, we'll do it every other way. But and then we're also going to want to be able to split the cordwood. Let's do this, and we'll do up to two percent. Do a little bit of right. So is that? Yeah, that's kind of straight, and then that looks kind of good. I think as far as what we would do would be to come straight this way. Again, this this would just be a track. It doesn't have to. Just has to curl in at kind of the right spot. Go 
past where the vegetation is. 2% because why not? All right, we can worry about that later, but that would be the track to go pick up cordwood. For, we'll worry about actually putting the track down when we go. It's a little ways off. We got plenty of other things to think about. Might need to straighten that out a bit. But I think this will be a pretty reasonable. Eh, I don't want to cut trees. Let's do some more. So let's make sure that this is plenty long. So we don't run into the same thing we did before. Now, as a matter of fact, let's make sure we put this. We might as well, we can do this now. All right, so we want to switch left. Always longer than you think. Make sure this works. How's that look? Pretty reasonable. A little bit sharp right in that couple spots here. You can always redo that if it causes an issue. But I like it. I think we're going to be confident enough to cut two of the trees. Right? Okay, then we don't need anything but a gradual returning slope or returning thing. We'll come out of there a little bit straight and then we'll start. Curling around. All right, well, we'll be able to. Oh, did I get stuck in the road again? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see where that puts us relative to. all of this i don't you know again i don't want this stuff to look you know too too like too much gravel <laughs> but i guess these things are expensive and yeah so where is that other there it is right there so yeah i mean if i put one like here where is it doesn't you know we got a lot of wiggle room and I'm thinking, is that, I don't think that's on the flat. Let's just see what, we want to switch right. All right, let's just see what. Yeah, that's not unreasonable. Let's just see. Well, I think we can do it from here. All right, as opposed to over there, but I don't think there's any reason we can't work our way back over that way. And I think, you know, that's at least somewhat reasonable, in my opinion. All right, so let's come here and then. What do we need to do? Five percent, six percent. Can we just go even from here? Pretty close. 
height wise. Right, is that fairly reasonable? A little bit sharp right there. We can smooth that out, I think. Yeah, let's uh let's just get rid of this one and that one. That one we got that bit. Alright, so let's come back over to here. Shift E. Yeah, that looks pretty reasonable. Right, pretty reasonable. Doesn't have to be perfect. So let's see if we can't run our rail. Here a little bit. It really doesn't line up too well with that, does it? Yeah, so let's uh let's redo this just a bit so it looks a little nicer drum wise. I think that's okay for heading this way. Yeah, I think that's fairly reasonable heading down the hill. Now, the problem that we have now is <laughs> everything I just did here is going to look not so great. Yeah, yeah I guess I can just. See how I took down trees, and then I don't know if I even really needed to take them down because then it ended up moving. I can come back here, and I can make that look a little better. All right, that's a lot sharper than I was expecting. Gotta cut you down. Yeah, let's get rid of some of that because it's. I 
think that's fine, but I do want to make this. Let's go from this way. All right, if we come out of here and get into a fairly sharp turn, I think we need to do a little bit of something like this just to make it more gradual. Little bit of an S turn there, but uh. All right. I think that's pretty reasonable. Go ahead and get rid of the trees. Yeah, and this is switched in the right direction, right? Because when we come up here, we want this coming around there. Let's make sure there's no trees. We're going to hit here. Oh. Tree right in the middle of that house. <laughs> yeah, so I guess the trees are, per, you know, probably auto... If you're 300,000 trees, they probably didn't put them down themselves, I would think. I would think you would uh, have a program to plop them in, and that program told it to put it right in the middle of that house, apparently. I'd like to cut all of these trees a bit. Now this one I'm going to cut because it's going to be able to see this switch. Yeah, we still need to hook this guy up. to go. What is wrong with why can't I get oh there it goes. <laughs> Say well, I clicked on it. And I want to get rid of that one so we can see the switch. And same, same probably with this one. And I to get this one too. Right, that way we can, if, if you can't see the switches until you're on top of them, it's too late. You just you got to be able to see those ahead of time. All right, let's see how we make out at starting from this direction. Yeah, not too bad. A little bit of a kink right there, but I think we could live with that. So our switch is right, so when we come back up here, I think we'll be in good shape for for the logging camp. Just make sure, yeah, we got all the trees. There's no trees in the logging camp itself, so we should be okay there. So now it's just a matter of running this all the way over. And I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I've been doing these episodes back to back, and I would... We'll probably, I'll just run down here and I'll, I'll lay the track all out. Uh, well, yeah, do, is there anything we need to do? Let's just check out this. 
this, this just makes sense before I do that. And like I said, I'll take a little break and then I'll I'll just put this track in. I don't want to do too much design work without you guys. All right, we could probably continue that. I'm not sure why I didn't. But you know what? Let's delete this first. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start on this side because this should be our level, right? Shift V. Not close enough. Yeah, I think we're in relatively good shape. So let me go, you know, just cut down enough trees that I can lay the track. And then I'll lay the track all the way over to there. Just that's gonna take ten or fifteen minutes, and you guys have already seen me lay track. And I think that you know we'll, we'll get it over there and see what it looks like, and we'll take a ride before the episode ends. So I will see you guys back in a few seconds. Okay, here we are. I made it down to the other end. If I turn around and look, so I cut down a bunch of trees. There's our track. We'll get to see it when we take our ride. Don't want to dilly dally too much because otherwise we're not going to get this done in time. We got a few minutes. Like I said, I like to keep the episodes, or I've said in the past, I like to keep the episodes under an hour just for the sake of of uh, the size of the files. So let's come here and yeah, see that's. I don't really want to go up right here any more than we already are. So let's go back down and see what we're dealing with. We don't have any road that we brought up here. Oops, kind of went off in the wrong direction. All right, so we said we wanted to get this in here. And I'm wondering, is there any real way to push this back? I think we could go back a little bit, you know, because we have a pretty long run in here. Right, like we could definitely have more room down here. That's where that doesn't look very straight, does it? <laughs> Looks like we should probably redo that anyway. And see, so we have a fair run in here, and I'm thinking maybe we could turn this to be a little bit straighter that way. Would that make sense? Yeah, it really wouldn't be bad from this perspective if we just continued that turn a little bit more. And then that, what that would do is, if we point that more like this way, I think we would be dealing with dealing with it a little bit, in a sense, easier. If I put this just straight here. Because right, there's no reason not to be... That's far enough. This could be, if this is turned a little bit closer, then this is going to make a difference. Let's go ahead and, where do we think? It's actually curved. I don't necessarily want to point it down in. Let's go here, go a little bit straighter. We came back to say here, like right before that tree is where this guy ended up being. Left turn fly. Oops, let's do right. I know, you know what? That's left that's turn. Ooh. All right, so when it came to that. Turn. Yeah, that'll be pretty reasonable, I think. Even if it swoops a little bit, it won't be as bad as it was. Just as much because we're pointing that way more. Right, so let's delete this. So the problem that we have is we're now a lot further. Yeah, then I 
necessarily want to be. Maybe we let's switch this around. That'll buy us a little more room. We're gonna do a right hand turn like this. A little bit further down. Does that appear like it would be reasonable still. Let's see if we can get this. This one needs to be left hand turn. Yeah, but you know what? That's that, I have a strong feeling that that's going to work. Let's just go right on down because this is all crooked. So maybe we'll just do it from this direction. See what I mean? Oh, there we go. Sometimes it just doesn't look like it's attached. It does really help if you can see uh, these stupid trees. Sharper than I would like. So let's go back and so I can't do. This one right here. Now graphically I have no idea how the game works. Is it better to have all like I would think it would be better not have all these little pieces, but be a little wonky. That is not too bad. I can live with that for sure. Let's get rid of this tree while we're here. this let's go in one Right, so we'll be able to come in from over here. Is this fully attached? Yeah, but then we're going to have to change this to get a, a loop coming back around the other way. But for the meantime, I think we got this part done. So let's, let's complete our connection up to here now. And I think this will be fine to work on when we go to do the lumber, which will be probably the next episode. We'll see what happens. So why we wouldn't necessarily work on that. So if we come out straight here, so where are we at on the 
this hill. Over here, right? Yeah. So I say, yeah, I think we I think we're just gonna go straight. Let's do a little bit from like here with that. Here. No, I think that is level. So there we go. I can see it. Let's just do yeah, like that. I'm not sure if that negatively impacts things. All right. Yeah, so right kind of in between those trees. Yep, see there's the road bed, rail bed. Yep, that's fine. So now we need to make our way down to yep, so I was swinging a little bit wider. We'll swing that in a little bit tighter, right? Yep, that'll be fine. So what I'm thinking is, let's just see what one a slope down of one does for us. I don't know. Right. Two. That's straight. Three. Okay. See, we'll come from this direction, I guess, since we're down here. See if I can't get this guy. Okay. Fairly sharp turn at the bottom of a hill to make your life just that much more exciting when you're in, <laughs> in train driving. This isn't really that much of a hill compared to things out there but yeah I can already tell I'm not particularly in love with that but it's okay except for that one spot I don't think I want to mess with it too much a little bit wonky right there around that tree let's cut down some trees close enough even if I redo it. Part definitely want to cut down more trees in the future. Get rid of that guy kind of close. Nothing else that we can see as we get around this turn I want to be able to see that switch kind of as soon as possible. This guy in my and without a doubt, this one. This two. So how's it look without trees in the way? Not too bad. All right, I don't think we're going to get this done in this episode, but we're going to probably come back in the next episode and take our train ride because we still want to make a loop. Like, we could actually go get some logs and get them down here, but I do want to make our own proper loop. 
Let's see if we can even just get that done. We still have some time before I would end the episode. What I'm thinking of is... In this area here... I don't think we're particularly level. We don't have to be level, it just makes things... Yeah, see this is kind of wompy anyway. So let's demolish... to there. Talk about leveling from some point. Is this all level? I'm going to take that one out. I think this is level. Yeah. What I'm thinking of is. Go up two degrees. And go back to say here. I'll go back down. Uh, you know what we need to. rid of all of it but maybe it did right so the idea is that we would have this relatively level place to do two things I want to be able to eventually come from here to the freight depot and, and points beyond and be able to turn in so let's just see if we were to put for now a switch right right and then this would turn in and connect with our loop now the other thing come way over here right this where our level started but i think if we switch left we'll be able to connect those two up be pretty reasonable yes that'll be pretty reasonable is this kind of in line with life behind it not really um, yeah, like in other words I should put it in the middle of this track isn't I want to put it in the middle of other track oops that's not what I want Switch right. All right, like that'll line that up better. Yeah, this is still going to be reasonable. So let's connect this guy back up. All right, look good. So this will be kind of a fast track compared to well then now the question is are these far enough apart that we can swoop on in Let's see what this one looks like We always pull this one back. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that one. This one will be a lot further back. What if we just attach it right to that guy? Mm, that's right, yeah, we can get rid of that track. Let's see, okay, let's swoop on in. Here. 
Same height? Yeah, good. So we're getting there. I think we're going to have to come back into the next episode and, and finish this up. Let's just connect this, and then we'll call this episode quits. And I think I'm doing back-to-back-to-back to back to back here. Let's... Uh, have the time. The only concern I have is I haven't processed a video in 18 months. I don't necessarily want to find out that it's all been done incorrectly. So hopefully you heard my words. There you go. All right, so we come back. I promise our first train trip. It will be three episodes in on a train game and we haven't even driven a train. <laughs> But the last thing we have to do is get our loop around here. And I don't want to rush it because I want to make sure it's all nice and, and smooth and whatnot. So we'll have to see. You know, but, I, but I like the way this is coming together. We'll be able to get our cart down here. This triangular also helps because you can turn around. right? If you come in this way, go past the switch, you can back up. Go all the way back over to that switch, flip the switch again, and then head back out the other way. Like it, it gives you a, like a three-point turn you'd make in your car if you drive a car. There we go. So we'll see. So we'll come back and we'll complete this turn here. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. I hope you like getting into all the nitty-gritty of this game. I love it. It's been a lot of fun. I uh, just want to keep going and going and going. Eventually I have to go work and make money, though. So anyway... I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.